With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. We have the question that the range of a random variable x is 0, 1 and 2. Given that the probabilities of the different values of x are given here, where c is a constant, we need to find the value of c, find the probability that x is less than 1, find the probability that x is between 1 and 2, and probability that x is between 0 and 3. We know from the laws of probabilities that the sum of all the different values of the probability of the random variable x should be 1. So the probability of x is equal to 0 plus the probability of x is equal to 1 plus the probability of x is equal to 2 all the values of all the possible values of the random variable x the probabilities of all of those should add up to 1. Therefore this implies that 3c cubed that is the probability of x equal to 0 plus this is equal to 4c minus 10c squared and plus 5c minus 1 this has to be equal to 1. This implies that 3c cubed minus 10c squared and then plus 9c and then minus 2 is equal to 0. So this is a cubic equation in c and we need to find the three values the three possible values of the uh, variable c right the three roots of c. So just by looking we can see that c is equal to 0 is not satisfying this so let us try c equal to 1 if c is equal to 1 then then, then we'll have uh, then we'll have this simply 3 minus 10 plus 9 minus 2 which indeed happens to be equal to 0 right uh, 10 minus uh, 3 minus 7 is minus 7 then plus 9 is plus 2 and minus 2 is 0 so this is a root so if this is a root then that, that means that c minus 1 is a factor is one of the factors of of the three factors that we can have for this cubic equation right so let us try to find the other two factors by finding the uh, finding the quadratic equation that we get when dividing this by the given cubic equation or in fact dividing the cubic equation by this factor so that is what we'll do by long division we have this factor and we'll divide the cubic equation that is 3c cubed minus 10c squared plus 9c minus 2 right so let us try 3c squared so 3c squared multiplying will give us 3c cubed and then minus 3c squared then we'll have to subtract this so we'll have 0 and then uh, this becomes a plus so that is minus 7c squared right and we'll bring down this 9c now we'll have minus 7 into c so this will give us minus 7c squared and then plus 7c right we have a minus minus plus so this is plus minus and then we'll have simply 2c and this 2 can come down now so 2c minus 2 and then we'll have to add 2 right so this will give us 2c minus 2 and the remainder would be 0 so this is the other part of the uh, factor so this into this will give us the cubic equation so therefore we have we can also write instead of that instead of writing that cubic equation we can write c minus 1 into this quadratic equation which simply gives the cubic equation this is equal to 0 right so let us find the two roots of this quadratic equation so that we will find the other two roots of the cubic equation right so let us do this so we have to use the quadratic formula that is c that is the variable x is equal to minus b plus minus under root of b squared minus 4ac so 49 minus 4 49 is 7 squared 4 into 3 into 2 right this divided by 2a so 2 into 3 so this will give us the two values of c for the quadratic equation so 7 plus minus under root of 49 minus this is 12 into 2 that is 24 divided by 6 so 24 uh, 49 minus 24 is 25 and square root of 25 is simply 5 so we have 7 plus minus 5 by 6 which is 12 by 6 that is 2 or 2 by 6 that is 1 by 3 so this is uh, these are the two values of c therefore we finally have so this will be c minus 2 and c minus 1 by 3 right we can write this now we finally have the three values of c as 1 the first root 2 or 1 by 3 these are the three possible values of c right so not all of these actually satisfy the uh, probabilities because if c is equal to 
uh, this this second term actually produces the problems if c is equal to 1 then this probability will be negative so we cannot have 1 if c is equal to 2 then this would be 8 minus 10 into 2 squared so 8 minus 40 right so 8 minus 40 is again the uh, negative so we cannot have negative probabilities so c cannot be equal to 2 uh, 2 c cannot be equal to 1 therefore the only value left for c is 1 by 3 right the other uh, the the last root left therefore we reject c equals to 1 and c is equal to 2 as they give negative probability of x is equal to 1 right x is equal to 1 was what we were evaluating so negative values of x is equal to 1 we cannot have that is why we reject these two values of c and hence the final answer for c is c is equal to 1 by 3 this is the solution for the first part of the question in the second part we need to find the probability that x is less than 1 right so in the second part we have the probability of x less than 1 probability of x less than 1 is simply probability of x is equal to 0 right x cannot have negative values no, because x belongs from uh, 0 1 and 3 so x is equal to 0 probability we can easily calculate as 3 c cubed right 3 c cubed that is what was given to us 3 c cubed is probability of x equal to 0 so now we just have to put the value of c as 1 by 3 the accepted value of c so 3 into 1 by 3 cubed so that is simply 1 by 9 probability of x less than 1 is equal to 1 by 9 now let us move on to the third part in the third part we needed to evaluate the probability of x is equal to 2 right since we had probability that x should lie uh, uh, in the third part sorry probability that x should lie between 1 and less than equal to 2 so it has to be greater than 1 or less than and equal to 2 so it could be 2 it cannot be greater than 2 so probability of x equal to 2 is the only uh, option left so probability of x is equal to 2 is nothing but 5c minus 1 as we have been given in the question so this is 5 divided by 3 minus 1 so that is equal to 2 by 3 this is the probability that x is equal to 2 or you can say x lies between 1 and less than equal to 2 as is the given as is given in the question now finally the probability that x lies between 0 and 3 right 0 and less than equal to 3 that is the third part so this is equal to the probability that x is equal to 1 because it has to be greater than 0 plus the probability that x is equal to 2 and plus the probability that x is equal to 3 right so probability that x is equal to 3 is actually 0 because x can never take the value 3 right so we only have this this is equal to probability that x is equal to 1 plus the probability that x is equal to 2 so the probability that x is equal to 1 is 4c minus 10c squared that is given to us in the question plus the probability that x is equal to 2 we just found out is 2 by 3 so this would be and we just put the value of c is equal to 1 by 3 so 4 into 1 by 3 minus 10 into 1 by 3 squared plus 2 by 3 so this will give us uh, the value equal to 4 by 3 minus 10 by 9 and then plus 2 by 3 so this value will be equal to if we take a, a common factor that is equal to 9 in the denominator so we'll have 4 into 3 that is 12 minus 10 and then 2 into 3 that is 6 so that is 2 plus 6 so that is 8 by 9 right so this is the probability that x is between 0 and less than or equal to 3 so this is the fourth part right so we have the answers these are our answers and the first part is c is equal to 1 by 3 for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today